Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another unboxing. It's just that time of the year where I'm unboxing everything this way and that way. Lots of great new releases this year. Um, a lot of archival stuff, which is my my preference. Uh, I like new music, but something about getting archival material uh, reissued, remastered, remixed is just special. So this is going to be another video uh, for my friends over at 7A Records. Again, if you know my channel, you know I talk about 7A all the time. They are kind of a uh, boutique label over in the UK that specialize in the music of the Monkees' uh, solo careers as well as um, a few other odds and ends, but mostly mostly the solo music of uh, Mike, Davey, Peter, and Mickey. And they are on a roll this year. I'll tell you, they, they've given us uh, so far... Um, and the hits just keep on coming, uh, a reissue of that. They gave us the new Mickey Dolan's Sings Nesmith EP, which was beautiful uh, last year. They gave us Dolan Sings Nesmith, the album. And uh, I think there were a couple others down the pike that I'm going to talk about when they come out. But they have uh, a few other things that I've um, pre-ordered. So it's 7A all of this year. That's probably the, the biggest label that I've been purchasing from this year. But anyway, this is a unboxing for the new reissue of uh, Michael Nesmith and the Second National Band's album, Tantamount to Treason, Volume 1. Now, uh, you may be looking at this and saying, you know, oh, that's some weird looking artwork there. Well, this is actually a um, new artwork done by the original artist. So we have some really cool um, new, new images to look at here. This is the CD version. It's still in the shrink, as you can see. And then here is the LP. So um, I'm really excited to, to open these up. Let me start with the uh, CD. I'm just going to jump right into it. Again, I haven't uh, done anything other than uh, you know, open up the actual, the actual cardboard package that this was in. Um, this was just given to me. It was at my door when I came home from work, so it was a, um, a great surprise. There she goes, for those of you that care. And let's see. So when you open it up, you have um, a really awkward photo of Nez there. I love that photo. And then there's the uh, original artwork, as you can see. Pretty cool. Um, I know my friend Chris Profi, uh, Musically Obsessed, has also opened this and um, talked about the environmental nature of the album artwork and how um, meaningful that is in today's world where we're literally destroying our earth as we live on it. Um, recycle, people. Please recycle. So here's the uh, standard 7A label on the cd again nothing crazy there i'm gonna put that cd right there for now so there's the inside where the cd was nez rocking the beard i wish i could do that there are the uh, original liner notes by nez which are essentially a recipe for some beer um which i think is hilarious that he did that because nez knew that his albums weren't going to be hits so there's that, and then this is why you get the CD, because you get this puppy right here. I believe it's 32 pages. I can't remember exactly how long, but there's the booklet. Some other releases from 7A, some great Nez. Um, stuff on the first row there. And then there's Mickey stuff. Uh, Peter, Davey. So very cool. Let's see what's inside. I'm not going to read everything. Um, great picture of Nez with the beard. And then you have a... There he is in the nudie suit. I love that. I would kill for a suit like that. Another... Uh, great picture of Nez. And then these are done by the same gentleman who um, 
did and the hits just keep on coming Joe Valterio so very cool so I'm really excited for this um, then you have some like press releases that are listed Nez rocking the, the chops you have local music reviews. Um, looks like some sketches for the new artwork. That's kind of cool. And then you have the section starting with lyrics. So um, I'm not going to give away everything in here because I want you all to buy it and be surprised. But just some more um, great pictures of Nez. And then you have your uh, credits in the back. So. There's the booklet. I'm excited to read the essay, Joe. Uh, Joe and I ch have chatted a few times, so um, he seems like a great guy. He's a pedal steel player, just like um, OJ Red Rhodes. Now, I should mention um, this album includes OJ Red Rhodes, who was a member of the first national band with Nez, who disbanded after three albums, and then this new album was put out as the second national band, Volume 1. It never really happened. Uh, for there to be a volume two. I'd be interested to have seen a volume two, um, what that would have sounded like, because this album is kind of more um, acid country rock, I would say. And um, you have covers on here. Like One of my favorites on here, you've got a um, version of Bonaparte's Retreat, which was made famous by Glenn Campbell. She Thinks I Still Care. Nez, his voice just soars on that one. Um, you Are My One is, is a great song. And then you have bonus tracks, which are never before uh, issued on vinyl you have six days on the road circle sky an alternate take listen to the band an alternate version and then an instrumental called tan my hide but anyway there are the original liner notes again um, and you can see there's the uh, track list and i've gone ahead and scored this there's no height and it's a gatefold so i want to open it up So I'll be recycling that. And let's see the gate folds. Very cool, very cool. So there's the original cover. So it's neat that they included that as well with the young Nez up at the top. And then as you can see the older Nez on the new cover. And then you have Joe's uh, liner notes on this side. So, very cool, Joe. Congratulations, man. And let's see. Um, no other... No other um, big you know, surprises from the uh, cover. But you do have a quote from Nez from 2013 where he says uh, that this is the one album I listen to least. The one, Excuse me. The one album I listen to least is Tantamount to Treason, although it is probably one of my best. And that's usually how it is with artists. They don't like to go back and listen to their own work. I know um, there were several artists out there like, um, you know, not to be controversial, but a, a very famous example is Woody Allen never watched his movies unless he had to go to the premiere. Um, he was always worried about the next project. And, um, you know, I think there, there are groups where they, they, they play their music and it's kind of like the, it's been recorded, but then they move on to the next thing. The Grateful Dead being an example of that. But anyway, here is the vinyl on that 7A custom label. And here we go. What's it going to be? That's right. That is right. That beautiful splatter vinyl. That is really pretty. So I'm excited to hear how this sounds on the turntable. There it is again. So thank you so much 7A for, for putting this music out and um, you know make, making sure that it's that it's accessible to the to the average fan because you know a lot of times these albums go out of print or you know somebody jacks up the price and um, I'm just I'm just happy to have all these monkeys related ish, uh, reissues. So. Thank you, 7A and uh, Glenn over there. I love what you do. And let me know if you're going to get this one, if you know this album at all. I'm excited to spin it. 
And uh, yeah, I look forward to talking to y'all in the comments. Y'all be good. Take care. Talk to y'all real soon.